Hi everybody, Paul here again. In this video, I'm going to show how to replace an AC expansion valve on a vehicle. So stay tuned. And of course, as always, I'll have my assistant Sparky helping me. Isn't that right, buddy? <laughs> if you've never seen an AC expansion valve, this is what it looks like. It'll usually be located near the evaporator. Two AC lines attached to one side, located here and here, and two AC lines attached to the other side, located here and here. The two holes located here are for the two screws that hold a metal plate that keeps the AC line securely in place. This is a complex valve with moving parts which regulates the flow of refrigerant. Typically the expansion valve will be located near the evaporator which is located inside the dashboard. Usually you can gain access to the expansion valve either at the firewall on the engine compartment side where the low pressure and high pressure AC lines are located like you see here or you can gain access on the front passenger side behind the glove box. On this particular vehicle, which is a 2007 Toyota Highlander, the expansion valve is located behind the glove box. I simply removed these two pins and the glove box door, which then allowed me to gain access to the expansion valve. This is kind of difficult to film and get the right lighting, but the expansion valve was located here over on the left side, which I've already removed. You can see the four separate AC lines that were attached to the expansion valve. This did not require the removal of any of the dashboard or any of the airbags. Before removing the expansion valve, you'll first need to have an auto repair facility remove the refrigerant. This is the old expansion valve. It also had an insulation material wrapped all the way around it. Before installing the new expansion valve, be sure to first apply some AC peg oil to the O-rings on the four AC lines and to the four openings on the expansion valve where the AC lines connect. The new expansion valve has now been installed. When installing the new expansion valve, be sure the O-rings on the AC lines are properly seated into the expansion valve. Also be sure the two expansion valve mounting screws are secured in place, but do not over tighten them. Be sure to reinstall any insulation that was wrapped around the old expansion valve. Once the new expansion valve has been installed, you'll need to apply a vacuum before adding new refrigerant. If you're unsure how to perform either of those, you can see how to do that in the description. I hope you found this helpful. And if you like this video, please hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and please be sure to subscribe. God bless you and have a great day. Bye for now. And when you guys are working on your cars, I'll be trying to set a new world record standing on my head. <laughs>